Hello, and welcome to Southern Dragon Gaming. I'm your host, Teth Rendebess, here with my co-host, Austin Big Mac. Today, we're going to be looking at one of our favorite games, Diablo 3. Yeah, it's been a long while since we played this. Yes, so we're going to start playing through the story, see if y'all are interested. We have the Ultimate Evil Edition. I am a wizard. And I'm a witch doctor. I'm a naked homeless man. Yeah, pretty much. Not much different from real life in many ways. No, not at all. So let's get started. I say we're going to start on expert difficulty. Ooh, juicy. Let's do it. Oh, I can't remember all the story. It's been so long since we played this. I have the story memorized. Of course. I like cutscenes. I love awesome cutscenes. The story is smash all the buttons until it dies. Since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ashari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. prophecies they contained showed me all that might come to pass and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens, the sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram to stop the darkness that the star portends and fulfill the destiny that beckons me. I've never seen that one. This that, place I like right. that a lot. Alright, before we go, a little backstory on the game. This since this is in third of the series. Diablo is one of the seven lords of hell, and a few decades before this game, he attempted to take over the world. <laughs> Since then, the world has been relative peace since Diablo was captured within a soul stone. However, demons are rising in the city of Tristram, and we are both heroes who have met and decide to try to see what is causing the unrest within Tristram and prevent another war. Then my character's on meth, because he won't stop shaking. He's on that good stuff. That's what I think, man. That's one of the best for my character. It's been a long time since I've been a wizard. I had one wizard that got pretty far, I think, into the level 40s. Right, he's a long range attack. I'm normally close range. Yeah, like the your, Crusader. Your Crusader is like that level. Like, I didn't think I could get any better. Yes, it is. I think R2, it's... Ray of Frost. Oh, yeah. My best is my witch daughter. I'm like arcane level. I believe, I believe Prophecy sent me in search of it. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford. Remember, do not skip the cutscenes since we are recording. Oh, yeah. We both know these pretty much by heart. So. Apparently, we remember we had to restart. Right. I'm, for those of you wondering what I was doing, I have a level 117, I believe, Crusader. And with normal characters, you can transfer that to any new character to start with. These are our first seasonal heroes, More so we can't coming. do that. We can't open the gates yeah, until sure we drive them back. Are. We're just yeah. Death beam. I love the Ray of Frost on the heroes. That was, my Hollow character is a witch doctor. I've always loved it because when you get first level, you get like a five-man army like that before. of dogs Gosh, and giant the zombies. You find Leah at the slaughtered calf end. Loved. Makes me feel like I have somebody for once. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What fate has been? You are Leah. The captain says you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but. Th Watch out! The wounded are turning! 
You can notice I'm getting hurt because I'm rushing in there. I'm used to rushing in because I'm normally a melee character, not long range. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. There is a we are not passively healing. But it can be healed. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm sure it's because, you know, we don't have any armor that does it easily. We have armor that is, we passively heal. We can only passively heal anyway. I think most characters. We first started out. Oh, I think I should back. usually do because the Paragon level helps that. Possibly. It's been a long time since I haven't had Paragon levels to back me up. How can I help to fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Their sacrifice saved their people. I will honor it. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricade! They must have Taco Bell or something. <laughs> I know. Vomiting out zombies. I was like in the Pepto Bismol commercial. Upset stomach, diarrhea. <laughs> hey, real life video game. I don't have enough arcane power. That's one of the wretched mothers. Dagger. I remember you had that little. There are more of them in the room. Where you mash the up button and you can access down the road. Weapons and everything from there. Right, right. I never really used that that much, to be honest. I need some clothes. A lot at. You must, you must be rich. You have clothes. Well, it did say in the uh, beginning I was a scholar, but that I decided the masters weren't giving me enough Needs more knowledge, and I struck out on my own. Oh, you're not going to Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shock pulse. I'll try that. Oh. Ooh, boy, I got the quick spider. Great, kid. Yeah, tunic. Ooh, yes. Boy, get the tunic. It's over now. Need more time. Doesn't seem to do much damage. Hey, look at door over here. Oh, the cute little mice. Well, we're technically both homeless, but at least you have clothes now, so you're not a necklace. I don't have pants, but who needs pants? There's a few things you don't need in life. Pants, and elbows, and wrists. You don't need any of those. <laughs> we'll perform the surgery to remove yours tomorrow. Yes. I always get mixed up which one of us is which. You know? Well, I look like I'm homeless and I'm turning it away. We need more arcane power. Ooh, my arcane power uh, recharges. Not all heroes do that. I think Crusader doesn't actually. I don't think the monk does either. I returned to Condorus after 20 years. The burden of countless failures and tragedies heaped upon my shoulders. Am I being punished for helping that stranger hunt the Dark Wanderer? I always thought Deckard Cain half a madman. Perhaps he was right. Perhaps he can banish the shadow hanging over my life. That's one thing I like about this game. They give the exposition of the game through the journals. And it gives you extra XP to do it. Ooh, look at my doggies. Mangy bubbles. 
I didn't say they weren't useful magic bundles, but <laughs> in the eastern kingdom of Kazakhstan, I've only ever owned two dogs that weren't Meiji warriors called well, Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission. Yeah, it's funny. People always talk about, you know, you need, like, pure blood dogs and all that. You don't need mangy mongrels. But the two bloodhounds I had, they were the most useful do useless dogs we ever had. You know? My parents hate animals. So I've owned, like, one dog and one cat. My parents believe in helping animals if possible, so we've had bats, mice, squirrels, we had a squirrel. goats, squirrel pooping in my hair. Fifteen like dogs, that. like thirty-three cats. Don't ever trust wild squirrels. They're pooping your hair and scratching you. <laughs> like Real life advice coming from Austin Big Mac. Not ready yet. <laughs> Uh, one good thing about these higher levels, you le level up faster. The mother's if mother's you can live. Let's have our gold. Oh, mm. we're broke again. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was under 15 million. <laughs> now it's like GTA, we broke. Everybody's broke on GTA. Which, to be fair, I have a car that has parachute missiles on it, so... <laughs> Never use it. <laughs> no. Ooh, a sash. Let me look and see what all I've got, actually. Yeah, drop the poor man some stuff, please. If I can sell it. Old Tristram. Ooh. Diablo himself once walked this place. He's got a pretty place. sword. I wish I could grab it. Get that phone. Oh, you got the fire bats. Yeah. Crap. It's funny, you love the spiders, but in real life you'd be running in terror. Oh, There's a spider on the neck. The boy about crap my pants. I'm gonna as big as a penny. I'm nervous and scared because I hit it off my neck. And it flew on my dresser and it disappeared. And there is nothing worse than seeing a spider and watching it disappear. I don't know, was it as bad as the one the other day where I told you to roll down your shirt and it revealed the big spider? Yeah, but I'm not talking about the new one. I didn't think it was going to be anything. I knew where it was. Fair enough, fair enough. Did you ever kill it? Uh, no, it's currently in my A. Alright, well, we can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry. Well, it disappeared <laughs> after it uh, dropped off you. So, and I'm too lazy to hunt a spider. <laughs> Y'all can't see her, but the lady of the house is giving me a mean look like not hunting a spider. <laughs> Ten percent. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, drop it. Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. I am strong as fit. That does not help the character look any more straight. <laughs> like, it's not even just how he looks, it's how he holds himself. But that green... whatever that is does not help. Tunic. Yeah, green tunic. We gotta be special. The game just does not want to give you that dagger. He keeps throwing it back over to me. Ooh, but I like this. I like this one. 
Ooh, you got gloves. Promise Marco had protect him, and now he's dead. Okay. Come. Remind me after this recording to lengthen to our recording times. Right now it's down, down to 15 minutes. Rumper told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. The old ruins. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. Did you know your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost in the Tristram fight to the demon. I do not have enough mana. I do question why Uncle Deckard brought her this to this place. Power. Your mother hid her secrets here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Uncle Deckard it was in the previous games. He was... He, Leia took his place in this game. He was the one who told you the lore of the world and all that. So he has to understand she has I demonic wish I do power that. within her. Why would he bring her to Tristram, where Diablo himself, the ultimate evil, tried to take over the world? That just seems very stupid to me, to bring her here of all places. Here's the key. I would be trying to keep her away from Tristram. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, Hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Need nice more money. Yeah, I keep trying to pick that weapon up, but he's giving it to you. It's not fair. The game likes me. They did it again. I guess only I can use it. Lame. Those of you wondering about the distance between Tristram, the city we've already been to, and Old Tristram, Tristram was the capital of this region prior to the previous Demon War. However, following the Avos' attempt to rise, the old city was being cursed, and now New Tristram was built around people brave enough to go pillage the old city for the riches. However, not all of them returned alive, as there are many dark beings within the crypts. Did you see? Remember, we have very rare abilities in the universe. Most people don't have these awesome abilities, so we struggle at moments. So imagine an old person just trying to make a quick buck going in here. They get the butts kicked. But if they get back, they're rich. Why can't we do both? Be a hero and be rich. That's pretty much what we do. But if we solve the problem, then there's no more work for us. Eh. So this is their game. Trouble doesn't seem to be anything lacking in this universe. Speaking of which, some analysts have said Diablo 4 will be coming as soon as 2019, which could be an interesting game. I do not have development. I love the series. I doubt, however, because the same people said Overwatch 2 will come within that time frame, and I just don't see a reason for them to release it because it would outdate the current game, which is still huge and easily updated. I think it'll be more like League of Legends, which stays around for years, and they just up it and keep going. You know, the thing is, many times as we played through this mission, we would eventually just memorize the castle. Huh. 
What's the spider's phone doing? That would be interesting. I have no idea which way to go. I don't either, but. <laughs> My name is Lach Danon, and I am cursed. Once the captain of King Leoric's army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. That was more backstory this time on the previous king of Tristram. He was corrupted by his advisor, who was a servant of Diablo, and eventually he would go on commit many evil acts against his people, would order his wife's execution because he thought that she had betrayed him, and eventually the man who spoke in the journal, his own guard, put him down. But he would not stay dead due to the influence of Diablo within the keep, and would return as the ghost king. Very and very accurate. I need mana. We are planning on having a Skyrim VR or episode coming out soon. Um, we have to test some things as they have updated control schemes for motion longer. controllers. So before we make that video, we want to decide whether we're going to use the condition dual shock or motion controls for the VR episode. <laughs> Normal enough for us. They don't want to die, do they? Knock that. Get this, I'm gonna win the game. I do not have no mana. Oh, my trusty X does better damage than this person. I must wait longer. Yeah, some enemies are weaker to certain attacks, so... Oh god, we're wandering into more of them. Oh god! We might be screwed, boys! Hey, that actually helped. Need more mama. Wait, I was thinking the same thing. My old masters could see me now. We're live. Somehow. Ooh, diamond skin. I made you cross Nova. No. Stop trying to crawl away. I legit thought you were a zombie. We'll check my inventory. I about blast one of your spiders. I was like, speeder! And I was like, wait. <laughs> hey, we're going the right way. Where is he? I hear that little bump. 
Treasure Goblin. I've actually managed to get to their realm, which can happen in uh, rare occasions. The money you make off of that is insane. You literally got all the loot for that, I think. Oh, yeah, that was a belt. Stay back! Back! May this wedge hold! You know, if I was him, I would have kept running because I'd rather the fall than be caught by those things. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! yourself for me because you needed my help come i must return you to leah oh it is wonderful to hear that leah is well i fear the worst i learned of this secret passage through old maps i found we must discuss the fallen star follow me to tristram I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard King. Now, all that stands between me and the Fallen Star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Our time is running short. What can you tell me about the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid. Though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle. Not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Oh, is not worried when we're literally fighting giant skeletons and zombies. Yeah. Who cares about that? It's just... No, you're back here. That's all that matters. It is kind of weird in a world full of this stuff that it happened within the last few decades. No one is willing to believe in prophecy. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. That is all for this episode. Mm -hmm. If you like the series, leave a like and a comment down below. I'm Teth Rendeves. And I'm Austin Big Mac. We'll see you next time.